Hello friends, and welcome to the channel! I'm Handington, and today we're playing Pokemon Monopoly. This is awesome, and I'm very happy we get a chance to do this. Um, some prefaces. First, my father will be coming back at some random point, so we may not necessarily be too loud. But... Just keep that in mind. I'm in my sister's room while, while we're doing this. I believe I have like an hour's worth of recording on this camera because I'm not doing it on the, on my phone because uh, it's set up on the little tripod, similar to what I had done when we did the board game with Paragon Aura, who is now Paragon Lolo, I, I believe. Yeah, so uh, it's going to be another board game episode. I'm going to try my best to have this recorded as well as possible. It may not be perfect. This episode, again, it, it's it's n it's not going to be the most perfect recording of the game that I wish we could do. Maybe I'll play this game again someday in the future, but I'm glad we get a chance to do this and record it. I'm here with my sister, Emmy. Aka Emmy Akame. Emmy. Emmy. Uh... And we're gonna have an awesome time. I bought this game at a Salvation Army for like two dollars. It was either two or five dollars. Uh, and this is a special collector's edition from the original Pokemon Red and Blue. And I love it so much. This is the main Monopoly we play when we play Monopoly, and it's awesome. I didn't know it was collector's edition. Yeah, it's a it's a special collector's edition thing. I'm a jiggy, um, and it also shows. It's, it's somewhere on here, and then it also shows the Collector's Edition um, little Pokemon figurines that we use to walk around on the board. Now, they're, uh, they're not squishy, per se, but they're made of, a, a, of like a somewhat softer um, plastic. Uh, I won't take it out just yet. You, you'll get to see. So we have... They're a little bit derpy looking, but they're adorable. So we have Pikachu Lump, Charmander Lump, Clefairy Lump, Bulbasaur who is just normal Bulbasaur, Blastoise in token lump form, and then Mewtwo. Oh, poor Mewtwo. Um, so they're all wonderful. So, Emmy, choose, uh, choose your choose character. Choose your character. That's what I was thinking. Yep. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. I will be taking off my Handington eyes uh, for the mm. duration of this just to make it more comfortable. Also, this game comes with... The, the coolest part about this Pokemon Monopoly uh, is that in the booklet, it has super special Pokemon-related power rules, where if you roll doubles, you get to use different Pokemon moves slash abilities. So if you roll double ones, you get to teleport like Mewtwo and go anywhere. If you pass go, you can collect $200. You may not teleport yourself to jail. You, if you get double twos, you can rest like Clefairy and get 200. The reason why they have Clefairy as one of the prominent figurines here is because Clefairy was going to be the original Pikachu. Uh, which is why when this was um, made, I guess, they had just been transitioning things. There's a little bit of a crack on the bottom here, but the rest of this is still in relatively decent condition. Uh, I got this already used, and we, we've gently used it um, ourselves. Uh, so yes, yeah, so you can just get 200, then for double threes you can use Leech Seed to steal $50 from each player. Double four is Professor Oak, which is, uh, I believe like a chance card. Trainer, which is He's like community scary. chest. Yes, Professor Oak usually has the bad cards, and Ash is usually, um, mixed. Decent. Yeah, it, good to not as good. Um... You, you have a much higher chance of getting something bad. So when you you look at Professor Oak, and that's the face of, uh, of evil right there. Death! <laughs> I'd always call him, oh, time to draw oak -oak. Yes. Many memes have come up from this game. Yes. Uh, personal family memes that we get to share with all of you at home. So good old oak -oak. and oak uh, And double six, which is the most interesting... Um, power in the game. You get to attack to control of another player's gym lots. Essentially, you do a Pokemon battle with somebody to steal their lots. So, each player rolls both dice. The player who rolls the highest number takes or keeps control of the lot. In the event of a tie, both players re-roll. You may not break up a color group if uh, you own the same set. So you can't just take one of the lots if somebody makes a set. However, 
something that we first started playing with and I have written down as official house rules for the game, which I actually thought were the initial rules. First of all, what we do is we shuffle the lots, um, and we start off uh, uh, with one lot each, like a starter Pokemon. So I we... forget this. Did you come up with that? Uh, yeah, at first I thought this was part of the rules, um, cause like they had... Just in general? Uh, no, no, no. Like they, they had we, when we played it, we had done something like this to start. So I thought it was in the rule book uh, back when I had played this with uh, mom and him. Mm -hmm. uh, so it turns out it wasn't. But I like these rules, and it makes it feel even more Pokemon y. Yeah. So we pl we play with these rules where we we shuffle the lot. We get to pick three at ran uh, at random, and then we get to keep one of them as our starter Pokemon. Um, and then after all of the, um, a after a while, once all the lots have been turned into a set, just like how it says in the rules, you can't break up a set. So what we do is to make the stakes more interesting is that we battle for entire lot sets once you get the, the, the rules of six. That sounds scary! It is scary, but it, it makes this version of Pokemon even more interesting, where you, you can control somebody else's empire... Uh, which just is cool. So that's that's another additional rule that we have what in if, here. What like, we actually played like a Pokemon battle? We got the Pokemon here uh, on like our 3DSs or something. Yeah. We actually battle. We, I think we talked about that before where we wanted to try and do that one day. Yeah. Oh, wow. Or like with the trading cards or something. Or we, we actually do a real Pokemon oh. battle. That would be that would be awesome. If one day in the future we can, we ever get together, and maybe if we have more players or something, we try and make it into a big thing. Mm. Uh, I don't know if we'd want to do that every time, but that would certainly make it very interesting. A that hybrid. Would take forever. It would. It definitely would. Uh, we have to catch all the Pokemon here. <laughs> yeah. So let me see. You're playing as adorable Char Char. Let me let me see. I'm gonna be Pika Lump. I just. I'm gonna be Pikachu Lump. So here he is. Here's our little friend. And this is Charmander Lump. Oh, good. The camera focused. They're really... They're made very, very well. I mean, they're all still lumps, but they're like uh -huh. high-quality lumps. I love that. So, yeah. This I am very proud of this. Would you mind putting them on go? Thank you. I am the banker. I control the bank. The bank of Palooza. Yeah, this is the plastic. The, the, this is this is the covering for this. Um. All right. So, I will try and set it up in a position in which this can record decently. Do you need a? Okay. All set up. The little the, the bank and the money and the houses and hotels are all over here, uh, which in this game they are pokey centers and hotels. Yeah. Yeah. Oh no no they're pokey marts and pokey centers. So as you can see on here, this is what the cards all look like: pokey mart, mortgage value, and other stuff. All right. So this is this is good. This is good. Yeah. Put. <laughs> Oh, there's a toothpick on the floor. I want to stab my arm into that old noodle Oof. broken rubber band. <laughs> you have many rectangular objects that are broken into <laughs> chunks on the floor here. I don't know how. Actually, look look at this. Hey! <laughs> there, there's, uh, there's noodle in rectangular form, odd plastic rubber band toothpick. <laughs> <laughs> and now to Reese. <laughs> I need to take a picture of this for purposes, so excuse me. Ah. Uh -huh. When you didn't realize this was a collector's item. <laughs> and you need to brag. <laughs> oh, never mind. It came out like this. <laughs> it came out like this. Oh. Yes, yeah, supposedly this edition is somewhat rare. Um... It's not impossible to find, but it is it is even more special than we first thought, so I'm very extra proud of it. Especially for the steel it was. 
Yes, especially so. The Salvation Army thrift stores, man. They're magical places. <laughs> like John Chan. Magical kitchen. Magical kitchen! Bouncing suicidal fruit into, uh, off a spatula That's next. It's bouncing suicidal fruit in a spatula next! Yeah, I know you haven't seen John Tron, but I just, I love the, the plug-and-play episode. I'm gonna go shuffle. Pokemon shuffle. I'm not the best at shuffling, but I'm not looking. I'm looking away. Good. Uh, you say looking away as you like... <laughs> <laughs> as, I, as I turn back my head over to the cards uh, for a second. Okay, and now I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm looking away still. Uh, again. Alright. There we go. So, I'm going to go eh, bleh, meh. And now I will go meh, meh, bleh. Okay. And then the rest are the banks. So. Quarantine. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Ovaltine, but with, with, with more viruses. <laughs> Quarantine. Yeah, we are, we are filming this during the whole coronavirus sitch. All right, so these are our three starters. I got unbelievably lucky. Bruh! That's a damn lie. <laughs> we only get to choose one of them, though. We can't keep all three. <laughs> ha! So, all right, I'm keeping Nito King. Bruh. The most expensive property in the game. You know what? Honestly, my favorite. Wait, can they see the whole board? Oh, yeah, th yeah, they can actually see the whole board. So, I don't care, he has that. These are my favorite. Yes, she always loves just getting the, um, the, the, the whole fire, fire gym. And it just happens to be that they're on the second highest property. Yes, they're the second highest, and they have a pretty decent rate of, ha of people landing on them. Yeah. Uh, so, over here, Gary attacks. That is done. All the railroads are Pokeballs that increase in value. Um... Well, they they all are the same, uh, what you call it, value. But they they all get more. They they increase in the quality of the Pokeball. So there's the regular, great, ultra, and then master, which they all count for the same things. So these are all of the Pokemon, and this is the board, and there's really cool artwork of the um, the Kanto region, over here. And this is what the board looks like. I know it's a little hard to read everything, so we'll. You, you can take our word for it with reading, but you can see a general look of the board. Again, this is not super professional. Yeah. We're just, we're just, we were going to play Monopoly and then I decided, hey, we can record it because I wanted to do a recording of the, us playing at some point. And, you know, it's just cool. I like having time with my sister. Yes, it is lovely. <laughs> okay, so. um We I have chosen... Our characters are lots. Oh, here. I chose Kadabra. Yep. And I have Nido King, which is the whatever it is on the actual board. I don't remember. I, I know this version of Monopoly better than actual Monopoly. Yeah. So whatever the the two most expensive ones are, um, they're Nido King and Nido Queen. And that's all I know them as. <laughs> <laughs> When we play normal Monopoly, it's like, oh, Royals Avenue. And I'm like, no, that's Nido King. <laughs> yeah. All right. So, um, I think we roll to see who goes first or whatever. Yeah. High number. Yeah. Six. Six. Oh. Eight. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, Eleven. Eleven. <laughs> Oh my gosh, we gotta do a battle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I'ma buy him. Volti Volt. Okay, 140 for Voltorb in Lieutenant Surge's gym. What is it, 140? Yep, 140. Excellent. I was gonna land on just visiting and I was gonna be very sad. Because, like,. It's good to land on those spots when people have claimed things, but not when you're trying to get property. <laughs> this is, this is. Where is Voltor? Where are you? 
You see the other two electrics. Okay, hang on. There's Raichu, there's Electabuzz, there's Coffin and Muck. Yeah, I did not do the best job of shuffling. <laughs> Where is Voltorb? Let me check. I'm gonna check the box. Well, at least we figured this out. When we first got this, we were missing the Zapdos card. And Articuno, right? No, no, we had Articuno. Oh. We were missing Zapdos. And so my father Maybe had... it's right here. So here's the story. Mm -hmm. So my father um, had actually made... He found online the, um, the copy of this, which was very nice. Um, and so he made up a version of it, and then as a Christmas present, he actually bought the actual card. One of the few genuinely nice things <laughs> he's done. <laughs> um, so yeah, but I've, I've still held on to that, the, uh, the, the original card. But yeah, so we have the actual our, uh, Zapdos card. Yeah, I, I, we didn't lose the Zapdos card, like, it, it, it didn't come with a Zapdos card. Eleven as well. Ah, uh, you have to pay! <laughs> Alright, how much? Ten bucks. Okay. <laughs> Man, that was great. Perfect. We're off to a great start. <laughs> Five. I'll three, move you. One, two, three, four, five. I'm a bye. Victory Bell, 180. Let me get the... Yeah. Card while we wait. Card while we wait. There is the Plume Tangela Victory Bell. Victory Bell. What? <laughs> I just like to. No, yeah, thank you. Okay. Get a five. Get oh a five. Oh my gosh. If I get a five, we'll be on recording. <gasps> seven, okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Tangela. Okay, I will buy. Especially because now we'll, we'll each own part of the lot. <laughs> or Tangela. Right, no, it's Tangela. Yeah. Let's when has it ever said Tangela? Ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yes. Two, sixty. Wait a second. <laughs> I will buy. I just, yeah. Okay, you know what? Math. Do math for me. <laughs> All right. Let's see. It's two sixty. Two forty. Yeah. Get all this kaching. Ha <laughs> ha. No. <laughs> Good old cough cough. Where's the coffee? Here's coffee. <coughs> now I need low numbers. <laughs> I need I need to get to my babies. And now to get to your babies first. Don't you dare! <laughs> seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes! I will buy <coughs> Ultra Ball! Alright, I'm gonna exchange this for money. 300. Oh, thank you. Yes, I have one of the Pokeballs. Yeah, he likes to make a Monopoly off of the Pokeballs. Yes, I love the Pokeball spaces. Seven! One, two, three, four, five, six. No! Oh my god! I can't! I can't! <laughs> and you're in between it! You can't get the red dash! Oh no! I'm gonna cry. <laughs> Oh, you defeated Hiker Zubat. Collect 25. Oh, neat. Yay. Oh. I get you your 20. Five. And your 5. Oh. Charmander, you had one job. <laughs> Don't die. And you did it. I swear, if you land on those spots. Let's, let's find out. A 1, a 2, ah! a 10. Good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Another Pokeball! I'd rather Sweet. he get the Pokeballs. That's how much. I just want 
<laughs> my green spaces. Okay, let's see. Where is the Pokeballs? They are over here. The Master Ball. I have two now. I was trying to save my money to get them. Oh, thank goodness. Eleven. Oh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh. Oh. <laughs> she ah! laid it on Gary Attacks, which is the rival in uh, the original games. So the 200 she gets from Go, she immediately loses. Or you could pay 10% of all the money that you have, which is more expensive. No, I don't yeah. know why he does. <laughs> oh, well, your turn. Yeah. The base. Funny enough, the Team Rocket, which is the actual villains of the game, pay you, just, you, you pay 75 for. Meanwhile, Gary, who you constantly beat in the game, you lose 200 for. Scroll. 10. One. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yes! Oh I get another Pokeball! And since I, the 200 that I collect from Go, since that space is worth 200, I'm just gonna immediately get it. Holy moly! I think this is the fastest I've ever gotten three out of the four Pokeballs. I have the Pokeball, Ultra Ball, and Master Ball. <laughs> it's 100 every time you land on it. Sweet! Um. <laughs> and if I have all four, it's 200, which is the price of one of the lots. You can't build any uh, houses on it, but I just I just love it. <laughs> Plus, there are spaces that say go directly to a Pokeball space. And, like, it, when I own these, it's just like, yes! Awesome! Okay, so that's, that's cool. <laughs> Eleven. These dice are not weighted. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh! Snap! Oh my gosh! Is it the last? I'm a buyer. You got the last Pokeball. Oh my gosh! Now he has to. Now we can do a trade if he does get it. Yes, if I get one of her beloveds, then I she I will take that Master Ball. <laughs> I mean, Great Ball. Yeah, it was pretty great. I nearly put the 200s in my 10s, and then I was like, oh no, wait, that's the bank's money. That's a damn lie! <laughs> okay, and you got the yeah, you got it, okay. Yeah. Man, that's great. Five. Oh. One, two, three, four, oh. five. Just okay. visiting. Good. I, just, I narrowly avoided Voltorb again. Six. six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Kadabra. Oh, I have it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> your starter. That was that was something on an old Sesame Street skit where they counted the six. Copyright. <laughs> the six little somethings do a something something. I really hate you. I owe you Wait. twenty-five. <laughs> <laughs> that is great. Because if you only if you only own one of them, let me show you the Master Ball. Yeah, yeah it's only twenty-five. Man, and you could have gotten that if I decided not to buy it. <laughs> <laughs> My turn. Uh, sorry. <laughs> that? Oh, that's my father. Hold on just a second, folks.